Hello and welcome to a How to Win Casual, as a sniper, with me playing casual Badwater. So this is not a live one, this is a post one, so I'm just watching myself play. Oh, look at that, so close. Ah, hit the rock. And um, just uh, decided to play sniper, you know, for some practice, for all time's sake, and um, get back into it, because I haven't been playing sniper for, uh, for a while now. So in this game, I've had one warm-up game. And uh, that's about it. So I see the sniper in my corner, but I decided to get the engineer instead because the engineer can repair the sentry and the sniper cannot. And look at that, my team! Despite having a Razorback and a Huntsman, he's able to do that. And I see that there's a teleporter up there as well, so we know that. So, uh, still just in the beginning phases, you know, there's only a minute left clock here, and I see. Yeah, there's active teleport stuff. There's a medic and a demo. Land a headshot on the demo. Tried to get the medic, and the medic's out for blood. Here comes the charge. We land a body shot off him, and we die again. So that's always something that's uh, important to do as a sniper is to maximize your damage. So in that situation, I knew that I was pretty fucked, uh, and the demo was going to kill me anyways. I decided just to give him a nice little body shot of 50 before I died. I did not have time to escape. So this is me just being rusty, you know, not being able to land these shots. This medic should have been dead three times by now, but all I managed to do is graze him just once. And there we go. Ah, the counter scope, the second scoping. Oh, that was a spy. Turn around and do that. It's good to have a uh, sound. And then we just finish off the spy here. We have a s soldier here who we shoot in the face, sort of, but he was a body shot. And now people are joining the game. So I'm checking my back for more spies because we've seen they, they're here. And then we get a heal arrow, so that means we have a medic. 10 seconds left. This is what uh, is coined as the pub push when everybody just gets their shit together and decides to do this. I'm looking around the corner to see if there's anything worth shooting. I'm going to try and get this medic, which I haven't been able to. There's a sentry, and we shoot that before he can get repaired. Tried to kill an engineer, but we only damaged him. But it's so important to push the cart. We did get a lot of damage on that soldier, though. Taking our time, taking out that scout, going further back, and being sniper. So I'm, I'm being a bit more passive than I normally am at this point. But we do end up getting the point of just checking that everything's destroyed and then we can continue capping. Now we get a death ball going. Where we just have the momentum and there's like one guy there and the cart's fully healed. We have a spy in the front. Sticking all the things and for some reason that didn't hit. That's what the hell happened there. Let's look at that again. And as you can clearly see right here, I shoot him right in the back and do zero damage because the game's sorry, you're too good. We're gonna make that shot not count because welcome to TF2 where hit reg is just optional I guess but the spy in the front of us is doing a lot of damage be careful not to walk on those sticky traps and then I decide you know this times three on a cart I don't need to push it so I'm just gonna go on the side here and see if there's any flank I hear a sentry I see a spy as he cloaks just taking out with the body shots the spy's very what the fuck you will see fat who be uh, very salty this game so as it comes a pyro we line a headshot on him and then we can finish him off with the SMG which is like the basic strategy for using this weapon and then we check our team we have a lot of spies and a lot of sniper we got a lot of momentum going and we take out a scout here kept running in a straight line trying to shoot this heavy we're at the back and get killed but that's fine we push the cart and things are looking good the enemy doesn't have a lot and now if we just attack at any point in time we will win of course that's not gonna happen because uh, you know this is a recording so i know exactly what's gonna happen this guy's stuck so i'm just gonna have a little laugh here Aha! you're stuck in the sign it's weird that it doesn't kill you or push you up even anyway we're gonna move forward and now we're everybody, you know, the medic switches off medic and everyone's like, well, you know, we pushed the cart far enough, almost. We're just gonna go around this bend here. You can see there's not a lot stopping us. There's a scout behind him. I just turn in time. You can see that my cross here was indeed locked on his head, but uh, I didn't, I wasn't fast enough to quick scope him and shoot him in the face. Um, just giving some tips here to the other guy that he needs to kill himself. He's like, I know, I'm just, you know, pretending to be an idiot instead of actually being one. And, um, yeah, we have a medic here, we got heavies, we got engineers moving sentries forward, securing the front. That scout's probably gonna come around the side there behind us, but, you know, killing a medic while you're on fire is, uh, practice. Something you can't get good at because fire is constant, so you always flick the same. And then I gotta be greedy at the end there because we have a lot of snipers on our team and then I have to be in the front, kind of, uh, to make this happen. So we had a team that worked and then everybody was like, oh, that sniper's doing pretty good. I mean, this is just conjecture and me making shit up. And then they thought, oh, I'm gonna go this myself, too. And now the team sucks, because we don't have a backbone. Like, as a sniper, you're 
like the, your time to kill is very specific. You do not have a high damage, high stable damage output. You're very picky. You pick off classes one by one. And you can see here we have two Huntsman snipers, which doesn't hit anything. So we shoot him. Missed the body shot. He should have died there. And there's a pyro burning us, and the medic, of course, starts to heal us back on medic. And then I look for the medic because I know a headshot won't kill this demo. Tried to go for the engineer, misses. And then, all right, fuck, fuck it. All right, so we're gonna take our some time. Take our time. We're gonna kill heavy. There we go. Nice. We got a nice opening. We had nothing else pressuring us. And then we have a scout here and witness this idiocracy. I have the high ground, and I'm like, yeah, fuck the high ground. I'm gonna kill him because he only has a health left. Oh shit, I miscalculated. He had more than the health. So for some reason, I thought he was a lot lower than he was, uh, which he wasn't. And I died because of it. So I was like, all right, cool. So this guy Hay here, he's a pretty, a pretty decent scout, I'd, I'd say. He uh, caused some trouble for our team here, and he keeps picking me off a couple of times, which is pretty good. You know, I should do that as a scout. So he's definitely. Uh, doing he's definitely getting picks. He's not getting all the points, but he's getting the important picks that prevents us from pushing So here I'm like man. I'm gonna be a spy. I'm gonna corner stab the guy. Oh, okay And then he had 44 health and I'm like, oh dude if I just no scope body shot him He would have died and I would have lived but luckily well, we have a friendly spy here is in the enemy spawn And I get to see exactly what they have and it's actually nothing We can just attack at any point in time whenever we feel like it which is exactly what we're doing we're just going forward and attacking and pushing the cart. Um, and now people are dying because there was a nice little buff banner and suddenly we're all fucking dead. And the scout is dominating me as well. So I'm trying to figure out what my team's doing and this guy is gonna learn the importance of stairs. And this heavy here has, I'm not sure what he's doing. There's not a spy here, that's that scout again. So I'm using the SMG, just do some damage off him and the heavy shooting in the wrong direction. And I think the heavy down there actually just grazed him as he landed. So he didn't get any assist or anything for that. Pyros trying to land headshots in this angle. It's okay. We don't see much else than ahead. And then checking our back for spies. This is also a prime spot where spies and stuff likes to jump down on you. So you better be careful about that. And then I take out the sniper because I do think my team should be able to handle this one engineer that was building. And we do. And then there's, that's a scout again. I'm going to try and get him here. Oh, missed the shot. This is scary. But I, I like to chase him. So I land him once and then a heavy joins up and he blocks the view and this is nice and I think uh, I think he actually kills him off, off camera here. So I go up to the sniper spot, I'm like, you take care of that scout. I'm going to work on this pyro, so I hit him once and I hit him twice and then he's dead. Players who have taken a body shot are usually running in a more predictable uh, pattern. And of course this heavy is using the Deluca spot. Of course we have a sniper going to stop and type something. And then we go back and grab the health. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, the demo man went the other way. All right, so let's see if we can get one of the medics. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right, so we're pretty screwed at this point. I'm trying to get some headshots done. And then we pray to the crit gods, and they reward us with the crit. And, of course, it's on the guy who's been salty all game long, and now we're dominating him with the random crit. And he's like, well, fucking bitch. You got random crits, yeah, and then... I think he switches to soldier, and then he kills me with a random crit. So it's not an eye for an eye; it's a crit for a crit, man. All right. So we're actually not going to be able to push it all the way in uh, because our team lost all momentum and is changing to classes that aren't actually doing anything. So there we have the uh, magnificent pub quick fix that didn't actually do anything but scare us off just a little bit. And oh, look at that! I fucking killed you right in the face, and then I get stabbed, but I did get the medic, which was the important part. So, with that in mind, this scout doesn't know that running back into spawn refills your health if you go to health locker. We're gonna see Bui22 do that a lot this game. We have a demo here, trying to make the shot, we can't really make it work. And then he gets stabbed, and that's a scout, and what? How close was I want to see how close that was. Yeah, so, as you can see here, I shoot right above his head. Had I aimed slightly further down, I would have shot him. And then I die. Oh well, well he was close enough. Close enough. And then, of course, when you're dead, people are like, why don't you edit when you're dead out? It's actually very important to look at your team and see what they're doing when they're dead. Like this guy who is chasing... I'm not sure what that guy's doing. There's a spy. Yeah, a headshot on the visible spy. and head, Not a headshot on that guy. We just barely missed. But we finish him off on the way back. Jumping people are predictable and uh, easy to shoot. So now we're going to see if we can regain some ground here. There's that scout again. And I don't think he see me. Ah, oh, fuck. Should have had him there, but we didn't, alas. And I should have had that soldier too, so that sucks. Well, we have a medic here who's healing us. It's fine. And then I'm gonna 
Oh. Not well, a uh, medic for a medic, I guess. And then we headshot him, and then those go body shot him because uh, he only had 200 health. We didn't see any health particles around him, which allows us to make the assessment that he was dead. And now we have a heavy in the front here, which is pretty good, as long as they don't just go into the sentry and die. Uh, all of them. So nice little sap combination there. Sap plus the shot kills the sentry. I'm gonna try and should have probably body shot of that uh, demo man instead of using the SMG. Sometimes a body shot is better because it does 50, but uh, if you miss, it's different. So in this situation, would be better. I tried to go for like a headshot as a jump, but I miscalculated. I thought he was gonna jump bigger than he is. And yeah, that was the fat Hoovy who then got a random crit to kill me, and then says nothing. All right, so we're watching the team. You know, we're still pushing forward. We haven't really seen much of it. The There's that boy again. There's that boy running for the health packs on the roof instead of going back to spawn. And let's see here. So we know that the scout's probably gonna come on our left pretty soon. And I tried to go for a shot there, just taking my time, and I missed the shot because you know, out of practice and rusty all that shit. And we land a body shot, and then the fat hoovy guy dies. Uh, but then we kill the heavy, and he's the fat hoovy once again. He's like, wow, body, body shoulder. Like, fuck you, who cares? You died. I'm still alive. Alright. Let's see, who do we kill? Uh, maybe this guy. Yeah! Oh, that feels so good. Feels so good. Ah, yes. A couple of headshots to finish him off. And now, we can push if we just at any point in time went forward. There's a demo behind me. I know, because there's sticks here. He's behind me. There's a soldier with a dart hit, and I think it was the battalion's backup, which I keep calling the buff banner. And then we look around a corner, and I missed the engineer because he stopped. And there's that sentry, and... Where did everyone go? <laughs> They're other all dead? Said GPS growing on his own own fucking, like, mucus or something. But we kill the soldier before he kills us, and it's just so important as a sniper to just churn out as much damage as you possibly can. I think, like we saw there, that we have no medic no more. And then we hit the soldier, and now we're gonna wait for health pack here, so... It's, uh, it's gonna be busy around this health pack. It's gonna be more busy than like the coffee machine on a Monday morning. Um, and then there's three of us, and luckily, the game prioritizes me and gives me the health pack, and I'm gonna go forward and see if I can pick off someone here. So I, I just hurt the demo. And I tried to not get caught in like a roller double lunk, and a medic's back. Cool. So we're now at the front here. The heavy's doing a lot of damage, but he has no backup because there's too much around this bend. I do hurt the demo, and that soldier jumped a lot shorter than I thought he would. Um. But we do kill the medic, so that means no crits, Krieg, and we hurt the pyro. And then gets killed, and then we hurt the soldier, and if the demo can keep this pressure up, he can finish him off, and oh, we almost got the medic with a quick fix. We have a lot of demos here, if they just keep the pressure up, and the medic... I'm not sure what the medic's doing, but that's spy, obviously. But the medic should, at any point in time, just start healing the people in the front, and I, he's not here. Like, where is he? And I have to call medic, because I know he's behind me, and I know he's not dead, because you can see him, like, up on the top there, that he's still alive. Um, maybe he's taking his phone or something. There he is, he's standing. Oh, there he is, all right. So gates are about to close because we're running out of time. So we kill the engineer and shoot him through the soldier somehow. And there's the other sniper and, oh, there's the scout behind us and we missed the shot and nobody knows how to fucking turn around. <laughs> the scout's just picking us off one by one because nobody has ears either. Uh, and then, this is the part, if he just goes with the soldier in a full Uber, they can stall the cart, but he doesn't! Look at this, 3-2-1, if he would have gone with the soldier, <laughs> would have go dancing! And look at this, I'm just running, I'm not as fast as he is, you can stall with Uber, and then we fucking lose, and I am angry at the medic, it's like, it's shit like this, oh dude, like fucking cowards! Like this, like, you have nothing to lose, just fucking go for it. Why would you go back and start dancing? You have a full Uber! I'm gonna type a lot of stuff because I'm mad. I hope you fucking see this video, you cowardly coward. Jesus, oh, you know, uh, we're a soldier and I have a full Uber and we could just at any point in time just go and just like stay at the cart and like kill a sentry, no problem. But no, I'm gonna do a 180 and do some fucking dancing instead and lose and then be like in denial of it afterwards. You yeah, have the proof right fucking here, you coward. God, it makes me so angry. I'd rather you run forward and die than retreat and not win, okay? 
If there's anything we, we do, it's always forward. Keep moving forward. Keep the pressure up. Occupy space. Don't give an inch to the enemy ever. I've seen a lot of people on pubs. They're like, well, I'm going to lose. I guess I'll just do a 180 and run and look at a wall or something. Because I'm a fucking idiot that, you know, don't want to, like, bring out the best of me. I don't understand why I don't improve at the game when I keep giving up when the game's almost over. Dude, I've had so many games where I've been on the brink of losing. And if you just push it like the last minute and you don't give up, like sometimes the other team will get careless too. And it's an opportunity. It's not over until it actually says it's over. Watch me with miss the sniper with like a, a hair and then die. <laughs> I looked at this in slow motion and I missed by like a tiny, tiny pixel. If it would have been any further pixel to the left, I would actually shot him in the face. Um, but I have to look at that again, but yeah, I did miss barely and hey look. Oh, he knows how to use an uber huh? hmm. Well good thing he used it in a very inconvenient way as opposed to a very convenient way just a few moments earlier So we have a teleporter of course It's not active yet because I do think it did get destroyed or something, but that doesn't matter He's not that far we can run it's good for our health and then we just look around on the sides See what's up and go in for a bit of a sniper and I got hit from behind I thought for some reason, I read that from ahead, so I was good, really confused. But then I know, like, all right, this guy, hey, the scout guy has been pestering me all game. He is not, uh, he's going to keep killing me unless I do something about my positioning. So I'm looking into that. So we have the teleporter active right now. And one thing you can do when you go through a teleporter is to, or just always assume there's a spy behind it. Just do a turn, do a 180 whenever you go through, just to be sure. And then we miss the scout. And thankfully, the sentry is in a good spot to protect us. So... Sniper Sentry is a very good combination here. So then we see the heavy and we see that there's no sniper coming this side So we're gonna try and pick up the heavy and we do giving him a nice 420 right in the face And then we uh, well, oh, there's a spy there And using the SMG to attract the spy works pretty well. Not as good as Jurati though But uh, you know, we're using stock. That's the point of this how to win casual just doing that stuff killing a soldier I'm not sure where the sentry went Kill him, and there's a demo jumping, and like, where'd he go? Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, he got blown up, and there's an engine. Oh, there's a heavy again. Let's see, can we pick up uh, the scout? Nope. Like, I'm more interested in picking up the scout because he's a larger threat than anything else. So we do kill him, and there's another scout there, and then we go straight for the health pack out with the SMG. Tried to kill him, and <laughs> make a drop shot behind that, and there's an engineer on top of us, and we eat our rocket. That's fine. That's fine. We're still we're still holding. We're still defending. And then um, there's a teleporter down there. And do I pick up this? Nope. Do okay. You're going back out. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a one star engineer uh, hanging out here, like ignoring this giant sign, which appeal well, the, the peel, <laughs> the the arrow um, pointing. So I guess you could say that. I mean, if we go back and if you just look at that image, I mean, I guess you could say that uh, you should build there. I mean, there is an arrow and it is close to where it is. I guess if you're completely new, this makes sense. I guess. Hmm. All right, then. Let's move on. So we're back here in the front and headshotting scouts that run in a straight line is pretty good. So I bumped a spy there. And of course, I'm not so good at tracking this, but luckily I have a soldier friend here. And usually if a sniper's frantically shooting around with an SMG, that means there's a spy around. And then we missed a shot on that soldier. That's fine. We saw a guy up there in our corner of our eye. So we're going to try and shoot this demo. Of course, he's bad for business for engineers. So we're going to try and keep him out of the way. And somehow missing that heavy. I'm not sure what happened. That's fine. And there's that scout missing him too. That's because it was a total miss. And then we go tracking his head. He ran a straight line and getting the falling scout as well. And there's that spy again. And he's still here. Like, where did he go? Oh, there he is down the corner. And I'm out of ammo. Shit. Uh, there. Oh, he, he's going for the ammo too. Fucking. He's faster than me. Why? Valve, did you make his play faster? I can't chase him like this. So I know he's behind me now. Probably very weak. So we get the soldier midair. That's nice. And. Uh, just gonna go back and we see that bad uh, hey actually killed uh, our medic there with a random crit so I know if I just stand in front of this the sentry will shoot him and you can see he's running there so I don't have to be afraid of him and there's the spy and we headshot him I think he was dead ringing and of course also we have to check our backs once in a while because suddenly there's a spy behind us and we don't even know it but I'm not doing that right now I'm very busy with just killing whatever and missing whatever is in front of me I did a quick kill, little turn there in case there was a spy 
Like, if you play Sniper without the Razorback, you get these spy timings and when spies are gonna come behind you, depending on when they die. It's just like, I don't even think about it, like, second nature. Uh, usually when you've been in a spot like this for a, for a while, it's been kind of silent and there's a spy. We're still looking, looking, looking. I mean, there's only 10 seconds left on the clock. Ah! Turn around! That was just a random turnaround. I actually did not hear him. That was just, like, pure luck. I might as well have gotten stabbed there, but... Random turnarounds where nothing has happened. Usually saves the day. So there we go. Victory. I didn't top frag that round, but I got almost the most points. So I'm satisfied with that. The last round, I didn't actually do much. So there wasn't really all that much for me to do. So, yeah. Victory was achieved. And it was a bad game, I guess. It was not great. But I did top damage by quite a lot. Um... Closest guy was a demo man with 6,000, I think. Yep. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was how to win casual as a sniper. Not a lot of tips there, just shooting um, in the back. And uh, of course, I always say this: take your time aiming, but like, don't take too long. But I guess the, the point is, don't rush it. Like, if you just take your time and aim, you will progressively get faster. If you want to remain consistent, it will happen naturally. You know, progression is good. Yes.